salicylic acid if you have oily acne prone or combination skin salicylic acid is a good ingredient to include in your skincare routine today i'll tell you everything you need to know about salicylic acid how does it work what are the effects who will benefit from salicylic acid who should avoid it how to layer salicylic acid what are the precautions you need to take what are the side effects also i'll be answering the most commonly asked questions about salicylic acid please bear with my voice i had a very bad bout of cough and my voice hasn't recovered but i'll try my best to be audible and i hope you'll find this video useful let's get started what is salicylic acid salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid and it is an oil loving acid it gets concentrated in the oil forming glands on the skin it is available in many formulations such as face washes serums spot correctors and moisturizers so how does salicylic acid work salicylic acid gets concentrated in the oil forming glands on our skin we have glands which make oil and this is situated next to a hair follicle so this entire unit is called the pilosebaceous unit so the place from which the gland comes out there is a lining so when there is a disorder in the cells in this lining that leads to formation of blackheads whiteheads and acne so salicylic acid gets concentrated in this area and reduces the stickiness of the cells so this reduces blockage so the cells do not accumulate in this area and then the oil can come out without any blockage so this will reduce the occurrence of acne blackheads whiteheads and also the appearance of new eruptions so who will benefit with salicylic acid if you have oily skin acne prone skin combination skin if you have blackheads whiteheads active acne or open pores then salicylic acid is a good ingredient to include as salicylic acid gets concentrated in the oil forming glands and reduces the accumulation of cells and reduces the blockage of the opening of the follicle that is why you will see benefits if you have somebody who has blackheads whiteheads and active acne then using salicylic acid in your skincare routine can really help in the reduction of these lesions as well as reducing the formation of new acne who should avoid salicylic acid if you have damaged skin barrier sensitive skin excessively dry skin or irritated skin then you should not use salicylic acid so how to use salicylic acid and how often to use this depends upon the formulation in which you are using it so if it is a cleanser then you can use it twice in a day if you have somebody with oily skin you can use the cleanser on the whole face twice in a day if you are somebody with combination skin then use the cleanser only on the t zone area so first you will wet your face and dampen it completely then apply a small amount of salicylic acid it cleanser and lather it leave it on for about 30 to 45 seconds let the ingredients work and then you can wash it off so cleanser is preferred in oily skin acne prone skin and in combination skin in the t zone area salicylic acid is also available in the serum formulation in which it is the most effective so people with blackheads whiteheads active acne and open pores can use salicylic acid serum this can be used once or twice in a day if you have combination skin then use the salicylic acid serum only in the t zone area if you have excessive sun exposure then use salicylic acid only at the night time don't use it in the morning time Salicylic acid serum can be used 3 to 4 drops applied on the whole face and leave it on overnight you can also use it only on the affected area like on the forehead nose and chin and leave it on overnight salicylic acid is also available as spot correctors so if you are somebody who gets occasional acne then you can use a salicylic acid spot corrector in this formulation usually a higher concentration of salicylic acid is used along with barrier repair ingredients like zinc oxide so that it does not irritate the skin this can be applied on the affected area remember that spot correctors need to be applied for about 4 to 5 days consecutively at night don't use it in the daytime it might cause a lot of irritation and also leave behind a dark spot so spot corrector should only be used at night use a very small quantity of the spot corrector only on the acne remember that acne takes about 3 to 5 days to settle so you'll have to use it till the acne settles how to layer salicylic acid it depends upon what other products you're using and also what your skin type is if you have oily skin type then after a cleanser use a layer of salicylic acid serum first okay and then you can go on with a moisturizer and a sunscreen or a moisturizer at night if you have combination skin then you can use salicylic acid only in the t zone area and less of the products on the whole face if you have dry skin and dry skin which is prone to develop acne then you you can use a thin layer of moisturizer first and and then use a layer of salicylic acid serum on top 
what ingredients should you avoid using when you're using a salicylic acid don't use salicylic acid with a retinol it leads to a lot of irritation you can come use a salicylic acid in the morning and use a retinol at night don't use it with a glycolic acid unless it is in a combination like you get a lot of these products which are a combination of EHA and BHA then you can use it otherwise using glycolic acid and salicylic acid together in different formulations can lead to a lot of irritation and dryness on the skin don't use salicylic acid with the benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide can cause your skin to become dry and irritated. So you don't want to use salicylic acid along with the benzoyl peroxide. Don't use salicylic acid with the vitamin C serum. Vitamin C tends to get inactivated in the presence of salicylic acid. You can however use a salicylic acid face wash and then go ahead and use a vitamin C. This is a good combination because the salicylic acid face wash reduces the pH and vitamin C then gets absorbed better in the skin. But don't combine a vitamin vitamin C with a salicylic acid serum because this can sometimes inactivate the vitamin C. What ingredients can you pair salicylic acid with? You can use salicylic acid with a hyaluronic acid, with a niacinamide, with pantothenol, centella asiatica. All these ingredients are very soothing on the skin and they also reduce the irritation potential of salicylic acid. So your skin can tolerate salicylic acid better. So you can look for these ingredients in a salicylic acid serum or combine your salicylic acid with serums with, which have these ingredients. What precautions should you take while using salicylic acid? Always remember to use a sunscreen when you are using salicylic acid. Don't use it if you have a damaged skin barrier or have dry irritated skin. Don't overdo salicylic acid, okay? If you have a lot of acne on the skin, that does not mean that you apply a lot of salicylic acid. That can actually irritate the skin, damage skin barrier further and lead to worsening of acne. So please don't overdo salicylic acid. If irritation occurs, then stop salicylic acid immediately and just use a moisturizer and sunscreen. I have a video on how to manage a damaged skin barrier. I'll be linking it up in the iCard above. Do watch it. Now I'll answer some commonly asked questions about salicylic acid. Will salicylic acid treat acne? Salicylic acid alone will not treat your acne. Okay, your acne treatment depends upon how severe it is or, and the type of acne that you have. If you have a few acne here and there, salicylic acid can help in improving. But if you have moderate to severe acne, then you'll require oral medications along with these topical creams. Okay, so don't just rely on using salicylic acid. If you have acne, please consult a dermatologist and take prescription based medications in order to treat your acne. Can salicylic acid be used in conditions other than acne? Yes, salicylic acid is a keratolytic. That means it helps in shedding the dead skin layer. So it can be used in conditions where the skin is thickened. In those conditions, usually a high concentration of salicylic acid is used. So yes, salicylic acid can be used in conditions other than acne as well. Is salicylic acid safe in pregnancy? Short answer is no, but if you do want to use salicylic acid, then you must consult a dermatologist and use it only with prescription. There are certain conditions in which we may give it, but if you are somebody who is using over-the-counter salicylic acid and are pregnant, then you should not use it and please consult a dermatologist. Any recommendations? There are many types of salicylic acid available in the market in cleanser formulations, in serums and in moisturizers. I prefer prescribing a cleanser or a serum formulation of salicylic acid when Whenever required and I'll be mentioning all my favorite face washes and serums with salicylic acid in the description box below do check it out I had made a similar video on niacinamide and you all really enjoyed it and requested me to make a video on salicylic acid so I really hope you like this video as well I hope you found this video useful if you like the skin and hair related content you can follow me on my Instagram handle Dr. Archil MD where I post the skin and hair related content daily thank you for watching